Good morning students. Hope all of you will be fine. And you are welcome to another class of English language in which we are writing an essay. Dear students, there are certain key points which we have to keep in our mind while writing an essay. These key points are the word essay is defined in the concise Oxford Dictionary as a literary composition, usually prose and short or any topic on any subject. Literary composition means a composition of literature and it is not in the form of poetry, it is in the form of prose and it is short as well and it can be on any topic. It is a written composition giving expression to one's own personal ideas or opinions on some topic but the term usually covers also any written composition whether it expresses a personal opinion or gives information on any given subject or details of a narrative or description. So it is not necessary that the essay only gives you the personal ideas or personal opinions. The term essay covers that it is a written composition and it gives information on any subject. It is not necessary that it expresses only the personal ideas. There are certain characteristics of a essay writing. A good essay must contain the following characteristics that there must be all these qualities in, the, in a good essay. Unity, order, brevity, style and personal touch. An essay must be a unity, treating in an orderly manner of one subject. That there must be only one topic that is discussed throughout and it should be proved through examples and certain sayings of the, a certain old saying or certain quotable quotes. It should be concisely written and not too long and the style should be simple, direct and clear and sh it should have an individuality or shows the personal touch of the writer. So all these things are present in a good essay. Now how to write an effective essay? Every essay has a beginning, a middle and an end. In a five paragraph essay, the first paragraph is called the introduction. The next three paragraphs consist of the body and the fifth and final paragraph is the conclusion. So in this way we can write the effective essay. The first one is the introduction. First paragraph is the dramatic opener or the hook and in this paragraph there is a there must be a transitional sentence. Next the body of the essay it can be a three parag three or more paragraphs and the last one is the concluding paragraph in which we reach at the conclusion of the essay. Dear students today we are writing essay on discipline. So let's start. It is said Collins discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishments. Discipline means order and arrangement. It means the training of mind and character. It means the obedience to rule and the orderly behavior. Discipline is the soul of life. Without discipline, life is just like a ship without a rudder. It is an important virtue which makes our life balanced. So we have started our essay with a quotation. Discipline is the bridge. Bridge is a thing that connects the two things. And uh, discipline is connecting the goals and accomplishments. Goals are the aims of your life and accomplishments are your achievements. So if you have discipline, you can bridge your goals and your achievements. So discipline means order and arrangement. It means the training of mind and character. That you train your mind and your character that you are going to live a life of rules and regulation. It means the obedience to rules and orderly behavior. And it is the soul of life without discipline. Life is just like a ship without a rudder. Rudder is a upright part at the back of the ship and it is used for steering. So when there is no rudder in the ship, you cannot steer your ship. So similarly in your life, when you don't have discipline, you cannot live your life orderly. It is an important virtue. It is an important quality which makes our life balanced. As it is said, without discipline, there is no life at all. Second paragraph, we observe discipline in nature. The earth and the moon revolve around the sun in a disciplined way. The movement of stars, planets and the change of day and night also occurred in a disciplined way. The cycle of seasons on earth also show the discipline of nat nature. So it is absolutely essential for a successful life. Essential means necessary. Dear students, we can observe, we can take the examples of discipline from our nature that the earth and the moon and there are so many other things which are following the proper pattern or which are mm, in a disciplined way. So we can say that it is necessary for a successful life. Now third paragraph. Discipline is necessary for all aspects of life. 
It is essential for us at home, for students in school and colleges, for players in the playground and for soldiers in the battlefield. Necessary means essential, important in all aspects of life, not that we are talking about that discipline is for only for the students. Discipline is essential for all of us, for home, all of us who are living in homes, for, all, for the students in the school and colleges, for players in the playground and for soldiers in the battlefield. So it is not that we are following discipline only in school and colleges. We have to follow discipline in each and every shape of our life. Roy L. Smith said, discipline is the refining fire by which talent becomes an ability. Refining means that refine something. So if we have the fire of discipline in our body, in our mind, we can make our talent our ability. So discipline is the staircase by which person achieves success. Discipline plays a very important role in building a nation. As Qadi Azam said, with faith, discipline and selfless devotion to duty, there is nothing worthwhile that you cannot achieve. So we can say that discipline is very important in the in building a nation as well. It is very important in students' life. The student must obey their teachers and must abide by the rules of the school. It helps students to focus on their goals in life. Besides, it brings perfection in their life by training to respond to rules and regulation. It led to the formation of good society and a good nation as well. So if a student follow a disciplined life, he follow his teachers, he abide the rules of the schools, it will focus that it br bring perfection in their character, in their life, that they are habitual of following rules and regulation. And ultimately, if the students are following a disciplined life, it led to the formation of a good society and a good nation as well. So in conclusion, we can say that discipline is one of the key element of one's life and a person can be successful if he strictly live a healthy and disciplined life. As it is said, your level of success is determined by your level of discipline and perseverance. Perseverance means persistence in doing something. That's all my dear students, do it this essay neatly in your neat copies of English language, English B. Still, if you want to ask anything, you can comment. Thanks, have a nice day.